In this demo, we'll navigate the Google Cloud Platform Console. Once you're logged in, by default, you'll be on the dashboard page. And understand this, that Google Cloud Platform resources are fundamental components comprising all Google Cloud services. Resources are organized hierarchically with projects at the top level in the hierarchy. They contain all the other lower level resources, for example, app engine instances, big data resources, or cloud storage buckets. So I've selected my first project here, and this was the project that was created automatically when I signed up for my trial account. So you should have something similar if you signed up for a trial account. Google Cloud Services themselves are accessible in the left hand navigation menu. So if you click on this burger menu, you'll see products and services. So for example, these are organized by the product area. So you'll see under compute, there's compute resources, storage resources, networking, stack driver tools, big data, and so on. One of the other things you'll notice right away is section pinning. For any service that you want to have immediate access to at the top of this navigation menu, you can pin the section to the top of the navigation menu by hovering over the section item and clicking the pin icon. Let's say that we want to pin the app engine section here. So we'll hover over top of that and click the pin, the pin icon. And now that will be at the top. Okay, so let's click home to go back to the home dashboard. Now this dashboard provides a high level overview of whichever Google Cloud Platform project you've selected. So here again, I've got my first project selected, right? And here you'll find common, important, and key metrics, billing information, news, and so on. You can also customize the dashboard by clicking Customize in the banner. I'll click Customize. Now, you can hide cards. You can show them. You can reorder them on the page. Each card also has custom options accessible from the Overflow menu when hovering over a card. So, for example, if I want to turn this one off, then I want to move billing over here to the middle. All right, and click Done. And when I'm taken back, here's billing. And my other tile is now gone. So let's say I want to bring that tile back. I'll click On again. Click Done. And I've customized it. Okay, now click on the Activity tab beside the Dashboard tab. And here, all activities that have taken place across your Google Cloud Platform resources are available. This is actually an activity stream. And depending on your role, and here I'm at the top level, I am the owner, you can see exactly what others are doing in any project. Now, you won't see a lot here because this is a brand new account. We just created it. But you can also use filters to drill down and find whatever you're looking for. So, for example, you could select whatever projects are available. You could specify a particular user. You can select what kind of category to look for. Under resource type, you can select different resource types. And under date, you can select a specific time frame. You can also search across Cloud Console using the search bar. So, if you click in the search bar, you can have instant search access to all your Google Cloud Platform products and resources. So for example here, let's do a search on BigQuery. Well, there's BigQuery right there. So it returns that. So if I click on BigQuery, then I'm taken to the BigQuery console. I'm going to close this tab though. And I'll go back to my Activity tab. Okay, Google Cloud Identity and Access Management are available from the main menu. So I'll click on the burger menu again here, and I'll click on I am and admin. Now this allows you to create and manage permissions for Google Cloud Platform resources. You can add and manage users, create custom roles and assign roles, add service accounts, and grant users, service accounts, and roles fine Rained permissions to resources as required. You can also access the command line from your browser 
by clicking the Activate the Google Cloud Shell icon up here in the toolbar. So what happens here is now you have access to all Google Cloud Platform resources directly from this command line in the browser. So not only can you access and manage projects and resources using Cloud Shell, but you also know that the Cloud SDK G Cloud command line tool and other utilities are always available. They're always up to date and fully authenticated from within here. So it's very convenient. Now, one last thing, clicking on the burger menu again and click on support. And this brings you to the support page. And actually, I'm going to close the Cloud Shell at this point since we're done with that. Here you have an overview page with details and documentation about support.